it was out of desperation mixed with frustration that I had my encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ I knew there was something more I saw the way people did ministry and I said no there has to be a way I read my Bible and I saw the genuine power of the Spirit I read through history the lives of men like T.L. Osborne Maurice Cerullo these great men what did they carry what did they see I knew something was wrong and I made up my mind that I did not want to do ministry wasting my time and joining a queue in envy and jealousy and bitterness because of lack of results and I said God I will seek you till I find you I will seek you till I find you I will seek you till I find you and I was lying on the floor that night praying when the Lord Jesus walked into my room when he stepped into my room I saw him in his glory brilliance majesty stood before me I was shaking I couldn't explain what was happening to me what sort of an experience is this this is the Jesus in the Bible that everybody talked about <laughs> He never spoke a word to me. All he did was to stretch his hands towards me and light, light from heaven, light from the King, light from the Savior. As that light emanated my being, it was as if I was going to burst into pieces. Then he left. How he left, I cannot explain. He didn't come through a door he didn't leave to a door hallelujah from the time Jesus walked out of my room there was a straight line from Genesis to Revelation I saw things I never studied how I understood them is something that only God can help to explain what was the meaning of this mystery what is this happening to me the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit my eyes started opening to see angels and to see a lot of supernatural things what is this strange thing it took me more than one year to recover from that experience more than one year